Water is the one thing we all need to survive. And sadly, these two villages in Cameroon don't have reliable access to it. So we partnered with the charity to dig two wells, and I sent Darren and the team over to help. We are building two separate wells that will each produce 10,000 liters of water per day. Our first well will go down 180 feet and our second well will go down 270. These depths will give our wells plenty of access to clean drinking water. These wells are going to serve between 9 and 12,000 people, which means that each person is going to get at least 2 liters of clean drinking water a day. When we arrived, we immediately started working with the team to get the first well built. This is the stream that they go to come and get water from every day. You can see how polluted it is and it's also full with a whole lot of parasites. There are some days that they have so little water to drink that they have to drink this unfiltered river water and oftentimes land up in the hospital. Now, there are a lot of problems if you don't have good drinking water. At times you have rolling stomach. Many people in Fumbo do suffer from typhoid. We just spend one year, one week without water in the whole town. Both of these wells will literally save lives but there's so much more to get done. While the first one has some challenges the second one is even harder. Being almost two times as deep to get the same amount of water. But we're going to do whatever it takes to help the people of Cameroon. Without these wells and access to clean water, oftentimes these kids have to skip school. Some students don't attend to classes and some escape from classes because of lack of good drinking water. We Sometimes we carry water from our houses right at school, having our bags making it difficult for us to be in the school campus. These kids are amazing. They're so happy and playful and excited and it was really something special and it was very heartwarming realizing the impact that we were having over there. isn't just important for survival, but it's also necessary to stay clean and healthy. During the, the COVID time, we hardly wash our hands in school because we had no good drinking water. That is absurd. Could you imagine not washing your hands during a pandemic because you don't have water? But fortunately, after all the team's hard work and all the anticipation from the community, we finally struck water. And the community could not have been more excited. When we arrived, we were greeted with celebrations from the people of Cameroon. The reception that we got was something that I'd never in my entire life imagined. There's hundreds of people around, maybe even thousands. This was nothing that we had expected. They put in plays, they danced, they gave speeches. It was incredible. This was such a big deal for the people over there that the president of Cameroon sent these pieces of clothing to show his appreciation. But for me, it just reinforced how serious our job in Cameroon is. Having access to clean drinking water is something that we take for granted. We don't even think about it. And yet over there, it's very common for the people to say, Water is life. Water is everything. Based on the data I've been given, these two wells will produce 7.5 million liters of water per a year. It almost seems unfathomable. This channel isn't just me and Darren, it's all of us. By watching this video, you literally helped us pay for more wells in the future. We also have two thousand well shirts for sale on shopfeastphilanthropy.com. All the revenue we earn for these shirts will help fund more wells in the future. Based on our math, each t-shirt we sell will provide 2,000 clean liters of drinking water per year. That is absurd. And on top of that, you just get this cool looking shirt. And if you continue to watch this channel, just imagine how many more people we can help in the future. <laughs>